In this tutorial, we will show how to simulate a standalone system with batteries. First of all, an autonomous system is always organized around a battery storage. For this type of installation, the electric grid is not available. A PV generator charges the battery or provides energy directly to the user. The user's needs must be defined by indicating his load profile. To start, click the standalone icon. Define your project by entering the site and the choice of Meteo file. In this example, we choose a site in Dakar. Two buttons are in red, orientation and user's needs. This means that some input data is missing. To begin, click at the orientation button. Choose the fixed incline plane. Set the plane tilt and leave the azimuth at 0%. This way, the PV modules are oriented to the south when the project takes place in the northern hemisphere. A quick optimization tool is available. This allows you to visualize the most suitable orientation for the photovoltaic system. The transposition factor is the ratio between the incident irradiation on the plane and the horizontal irradiation. In addition, two graphs show the transposition factor in relation to the inclination on the plane and its orientation. You can view the optimization compared to winter, summer or annual irradiation. The next step is to define the user's need. Click on the user's needs button. Several options are available to define the user's needs. Load a consumption profile available in the PVC's database. Import a consumption profile in CSV format previously created. Fill in a requirements table, which is the most intuitive way. Let's start with the definition of a daily consumption. This step involves completing the table by defining the number of devices, its power, daily use and the hourly distribution. If you don't know the power of the device, PVCs provides you with an order of magnitude in the help with the device info button. Complete the table according to your needs. The power of the fridge is a daily consumption estimated in our example at 1 kilowatt hour per day and the daily use remains at 24 hour by default. It is possible to add additional devices according to your needs, but for the tutorial we will simply indicate a standby consumption of 6 watt. To finalize this table, complete the hourly distribution of each device. Select 30 minute slots with the left click, and you can deselect slots with the right click. Clicking on save will save the created load profile. You can change the profile name or leave it as default. By clicking on load, you will find your previously saved load profile and the default load profiles. There are other ways to define a load profile by clicking on other profile. In this window, it is possible to define a load profile with fixed constant consumption, with monthly values, with daily values, with a probability profile, with the domestic consumption profile seen previously, and finally, with the file profile in CSV format. Click on the Choose CSV file button. PVCs provides CSV profiles in the database for use. Take the example of the household profile. PVCs displays the source file as well as the graph of the hourly load profile, daily and monthly. If you wish to use this load profile, you have the option of rescaling it to your annual requirements by clicking on the Rescale tool, or add your load profile as a CSV file. For more information, click on the question mark. Return to the previously completed table. You observe that the user's requirements are validated and you don't have error messages. It remains to define the characteristics of the system. Click on it. In this tab, you must define the characteristics of the storage, characteristics of the photovoltaic array, the characteristics of the controller, and if necessary, the input of external energy by a backup. Start with storage. Several pieces of advice are important to retain. The pre-sizing tool calculates two pieces of advice. 
battery capacity in ampere hours, and PV modules power in watt peak. The PLOL value in percent represents the probability that the user's needs cannot be satisfied. By changing the value of the required autonomy, you observe that the recommended capacity and the recommended PV power also vary. We will leave the voltage of the batteries at 24 volts because of a highly power-consuming fridge. The recommended capacity value is 393 ampere hours. In the database, you can find a non-exhaustive list of battery brands. Here, generic models will be used. Choose a 12 volt, 160 ampere hour lead battery. The series and parallel configuration will be done automatically according to the pre-sizing help. However, it is not mandatory. By changing the batteries in parallel to two, the overall capacity decreases to 320 ampere hours, which is lower than the value defined in the sizing tool. A final parameter to consider is the temperature of the batteries in operation. The temperature is important for the life of the battery. An increase of 10 degrees decreases the static lifetime by a factor of 2. The storage configuration is complete. Proceed to the PV array configuration. The pre-sizing tool recommends a peak power of the PV array. Select PV module from the database. For each selected module, the software shows the voltage sizing. You can read the voltage at the MPP at 60 degrees and then the open circuit voltage at minus 10 degrees for this module. PVSYS provides a list of controllers to choose from. To avoid being blocked, you can use the universal controller that adapts to your choice of configuration. Click on the universal controller. Select an MPPT converter, the most common mode. The software will design the PV array automatically. You don't have to follow this sizing. You are free to increase the number of modules in series or the number of strings to reduce them. In the Power tab, you have the possibility to add a generator to provide additional energy. You have completed the configuration of your system. Click on OK. No error messages appear after configuration the system. The simulation can begin. Six values summarize the main results of the simulation. Open the loss diagram. At the end of the diagram, three important elements for the established system appears. The amount of energy stored, energy available for direct use, and the missing energy for the system. This review allows to globally visualize the system. A full PDF report is automatically generated after each new simulation.